Kia ora whanau, how's it going? Ka mea hatu ki a koutou i tēnei wā, ka hoki mai ki te... ki te... kōrero e pāna ki te kaitaki marakai. Hey, welcome back to my kaitaki marakai segment. Um, back our gardens. And I'm just going to do a little bit of an update and some stuff that we've been doing. Showing a bit around the place, uh, things that are happening. Um, we've got a dig, a backyard garden update dig this coming Saturday. It was meant to be yester uh, yesterday, but um, some things going on up here that we had to delay it a week. Um, we're going to be planting these things here, which is broccoli. And here's my herb garden, by the way. Look at that, farmer. Man, come along quite quickly. Awesome. So we've got to plant those. I think those, what's that? We didn't have to plant it down here. It is spinach. Yep. Yeah, but the hoop garden's going good. We'll be planting those next Saturday. Looks like I need a bit of a water, so I'll do that. But um, yeah, let's have a let's have a little nosy to see our Fijoa trees starting to come through. Um, Josie loves Fijoas, so pretty much seen Josh out or me to come and pick them up off the ground. Um, so much fruit on them, bending the branches. Uh, we've had a really good crop of uh, tomatoes this year um, and uh, last week um, I had to, these were all lying on the ground, they'd fallen over, we had a big storm come through and break them, the ones beside the garage haven't really fared too well over there but these ones seem to have done okay so I've just done a bit of a, trimming them back a bit, you know as I mentioned in the past um, just breaking off these these runners, you know. Um, see, that's the runner that's going to carry on, going to basically make the shoot come up there. Um, just so we just take these runners off. Be neat. So all the good stuff, you know. Like, see, really, this one here. It shouldn't be there. I could actually pull that out, put it into a small pot plant, and then that'll grow into another tomato tree. And if I had a greenhouse, I'd actually might do that. But taking that off, and you could actually yeah, grow, put that in the fenwell, it'll grow through underneath there. Look after it, and that's the one that you want to grow and it'll eventually grow through. But when it's this size, um, it's just going to do another shoot if you leave it in there. And so you really want to want to pull it out. So like these ones in here, you just keep pulling them out. And that way all the kai and the nutrients go to the fruit rather than to the, the foliage. So already it's been, you know, another week's happened and I need to come along and trim these a bit. To be honest, it's really the first time I'm growing tomatoes and I don't know how long they're going to last. Um, but we've got these yellow teardrop looking ones. Um, got these nice big, I think these are going to stick ones I think. But you know you got to be quick eh, because the rain also affects them. Um, but yeah, you got the basil down there. So I'll put mulch down, grass down just to keep it back. Um, so just tie them up, get them working. Uh, we've got a, an elderly lady in town here who's, she does gardening in relationship to confined spaces. And one of the things I saw her doing is that she had on the fence a milk container with tomatoes in it. And the tomatoes were growing down. She just tied them to the fence and uh, it was a wire fence like this, this top one. And so I've actually done the reverse as it's growing up here. I've, I've actually connected to this. I'm just trialing out to see what it looks like. And what I actually might do is that that's what I might do next year is actually um, wire up along the fence. And that will be what I tie my um, tomatoes to. We may have issues in regards to air circulation because um, they seem to have done quite well um, being this far away from fence 
but praise the Lord, you know, we've had plenty of tomatoes uh, this year. Really enjoyed them, loved them on avocado and vogel bread. A little bit of pepper, it goes good. So, got to go keep, keep working on it, um, staking them, give them air, water them, um, give them some clay, nurture them. Um, I'm going to talk about this in a minute, but uh, and uh, we did the same over here. So here's this this row you were recall last time. This is the row that I had my potatoes in along here. Um, so I dug that up. Um, we've had a friend in our church who's got um, horse and cow poop and sheep poop and all that. So she gives me her compost. And so what I did is um, I dug the potatoes up and then I just laid all that um, uh, manure on the ground and dug it in and so I left it for a week or so and then um, planted in the, the broccoli so we've got broccoli down there in a little bit and I'll show you soon um, while I did that I also um, laid in some lime just got it from the, the shop um, in this, uh, not the supermarket the, um, Mega Mile 10 and as I'm planting and use vegetables I put some lime in uh, but as you can see so that's we've now had potatoes there and now we've got broccoli growing through um, I'm trying to be organic as possible so I'm not really using well I'm not using sprays at all hence why you see the caterpillars and bugs are, are chewing on the leaves I'm told that at some point that'll stop um, that little white butterfly um, it's, uh, it's, that's what it is. So just just exploring stuff. Um, silver beets coming along. Got to keep working on that. Look at that cluster of tomatoes. They're doing it beautifully. Atawa. But it just keeps producing fruit. And uh, so I'm just going to let it run along the fence here. Same thing with this. Just got to trim it back. And uh, this was early in the week after I got back from Auckland. I just tidied up these tomatoes and already you're starting to see how all the all the energy and nutrients are going to the fruit as opposed to the foliage. Um, so sometimes you have to trim off, you know, trim off the things that consume stuff that's not very helpful for us. Um, that's what I'm learning. I'm actually really enjoying it, eh? Um, I'm starting to now kind of lay things in a way that gives me a bit of a pathway or a bit of a green effect. So we just come out and pick our lettuces. Um, and as you can see, you've just got to come in and pull out the weeds, make sure you're not pulling out stuff, and just get, give it a bit of a, a, bit of a tidy up. Um, Korean barbecues, so we use those lettuces for that and wrap up the, the rice and the, the finely cut meat. Um, I've got some bok choy in here, just down there, and in the back here. Some cabbage and lettuces, those ones just there, the back, but these are all, all broccoli. And so they come through, got some kale on there. One of the ones that I'll be really surprised about are these here, these peppers. Um, you know, these are, you know, I've just been cutting these and giving them to the church folk uh, or someone in the community, but they've been growing really well, so I'll be really stoked about that. Um, if someone can tell me, uh, I, I um, pickled some onions the other week. Can I pickle that just like that? If I cut it off and, and pickle them? Um, is that a thing? Someone can message me on uh, on YouTube. Yeah, that'd be great. Because these are probably about the size. I could just chuck them in, you know, put four or five in them and, and pickle them away, you know. Yeah. So if anyone knows that, that'd be, that'd be great. That'd be helpful. Uh, we've got our kumara in the back here. Uh, and here's some more of the, the broccoli. I think I've got an avocado tree growing. Um, I was looking at that the other day. I 
think that's an avocado. And I'm hoping it is, because if it is, I'm going to transplant it into a pot and put it out in a lovely night. So, I need to, to mara, our backyard garden. Look at that little Still growing, not really doing anything, but just pluck them away. Um, so, as I've taken vegetables out or harvested because they like the potatoes. Um, I try to put good things back into the into the soil. Um, food waste, which I've got over the back there. Um, fish scraps. Um, cow poop or sheep poop, wherever you get. Um, lime. And um, part of my process, as I say, that I'm not I'm not an expert in this, and so we've got people in our community that uh, give me some jungle tips. Um, and yeah so we're just trying things so in here we're moving from summer uh, fruit and vegetables um, into into winter so we're starting to now plant things like broccoli cauliflower cabbages um, kale uh, what else do we have uh, red cabbage white cabbage uh, all those types of um, vegetables and we'll start staggering them through to grow so as as these um, kind of these other vegetables go through the season <clears throat> I then rebuild the soil put some more compost there and put some more manure in it to get in um, just to try to keep the health of it and you'll see the the bark that I've got here the mulching bark that just breaks down even further um, eventually once these tomatoes come out um, if they come out um, to see how we go uh, we'll, we'll replenish the soil here as well and give back the good nutrients um, now we've still got the next uh, harvesting uh, part will be our um, mara kumara and we were looking at our kumara patches so we've got the one here and then back up on the papakainga uh, we'll be just um, exploring what they look like in relationship to uh, when it's harvesting time but in here you know you see you gotta basically get in and, and hunt for where that it goes down into um, one of my sons is coming back um, at Easter and so he's my kumara guy it's Caleb and um, I'll just get him a bit of a give me a bit of a skill set in regards to how and what we do, particularly up on the Papakainga, and uh, we might just start harvesting that. <laughs> we've still got potatoes, we've still got pumpkins from our Christmas harvest, we've still got onions. Um, I pickled some onions the other day just to try it out because I've never done it before. And so we're now thinking about that next season, what's coming up. Um, so we're moving into our fruit trees here, feed And one of the things I'm trying this year is in this patch here um, I'm trying to grow garlic so you'll see there's little holes along here so each one of those little dots here and down um, that's where I've planted garlic so what I've done in here is I've tossed the soil um, I've put some newspaper down between the original soil and what I'm introducing. On top of the newspaper, um, I've had cow manure and sheep manure and poop uh, compost given to us. Um, and so that's between the newspaper and then I've put compost on top. I've put a layer of compost on top and then the last layer is the mulching bark. Um, I, I believe and understand that garlic is a seven to eight month type of um, um, produce. So that's how long it takes to, to produce it. And so it's in um, autumn, late autumn, that you put it in the soil, with the idea being that um, midsummer uh, or early summer, 
that's when you come to harvest it. So I'm hoping, and we'll, we'll see what the end of the year looks like, that this patch here will eventually I'll, I'll have a whole lot of garlic um, pop up. And um, so I've just started another patch. So I'm using existing patches and now I'm just creating uh, patches of different types of, of kai and generating kai. And if we can do that, uh, that's another, um, uh, are they vegetables? I think they're vegetables. Another produce anyway that, that we've produced. And pretty much all I've done is taken the garlic clove, uh, broken off, the hard end points down and the soft end, that little bit is points up. I've just pushed it into the ground and so it's just, a, just on the ground there and then yeah, see how it goes. So that's how I, I believe it works. And so we're gonna we're gonna try it, see how it goes. And again, we'll re redo this once they go out. I haven't done it um, this time yet, but I'm looking at um, putting some mud in a stretch here, um, and I might do something along the wall here. And really, it's just about you know this is grass. It's it's not going to be used for anything. So I want to turn it into into a, into a garden. We've got someone that's going to give us some chickens, so we'll have a little chicken experiment. And I've ironed up a chicken coop that I'll use like a chicken tractor. And it, I believe the, the width of it will be the same size as this here. So effectively, I could work on it, straddle the width of the, the soil that's been, been churned up by the chickens, and then I'll just move the chickens along. So effectively, I'll start them here in their coop and then they'll just progressively go along I think it's every two to three weeks you move them on and in that time they've pooped in it they've eaten all the grass they've, they, they scrape up all the soil and then you've got you got you've got a, a patch ready and then I'll just progressively move them along um, and then hopefully they'll open up that space um, you know you need a little just a little little walking strip here just to walk down um, but yeah and in that one I'm yeah, I might grow some potatoes um, or some other vegetables um, going into spring. So that's what we'll be doing over winter. We're just going to bring the chickens in and during the day I'll let them run around. But at night they'll sit in their coop. Um, you know, hopefully just turn this area around here into a bit of a garden. Um, nice garden patch. And leave the lawn at the front of that for other things. Anyway, Fano. Uh, that's our progression. Um, my sister-in-law's have been working on our papa's um, orchard. Cleared that up a bit, so there's a bit of news there. And um, I think I, my last video I showed a, showed a video of that, and it's pretty pretty awesome. But this is our backyard. We're just chicken away at it, coming into our second year here, and so yeah, pretty stoked. What's what's going on? Um, you just need a bit of forward planning. You need to think about like we're doing with the the garlic what you're wanting to have next year and think about how long something needs to take from planting to harvesting and where you're going to put it. Um, you need to think about um, introducing health back into the soil, particularly if, if you've got a lot of um, vegetables out of a particular site like here. Um, you need to put something back in. Compost, food waste, grass clippings, Good organic stuff to replenish the nutrients in the soil because as these vegetables are sucking it out uh, you've got to place it back in for good soil health um, yeah anyway there's a bit of a long one but um uh, uh, as i say we're doing a garden dig this this uh, saturday coming up and um, i believe someone else uh, in, the, in the community wants to have a garden there so we'll probably tidy up fills Put an extension to his and you know, plant in some you know, broccoli there for him and uh, anyone else. So hit us, hit us up if you're if you're wanting to have a garden, a winter garden. Um, yeah, Anei te, te marakai. Uh, you've been watching Rewai Te Kahu on Kaitaki Marakai. Backyard garden. Hey kona.